Hey guys, what's up? It's our Dick here, Old School Duelist 12, and just let me complain. Okay guys, so today is a very more than likely short episode of Just Let Me Complain. It's Yeah, it's, we're already going short episodes cause it, and it's only episode two. Yeah, I know. Um, there's nothing too crazy going on uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world, uh, but it's mostly just packs that are coming out, packs, structure decks, uh, stuff like that, the new movie. So, um, so what I'm bringing to you guys today is everything is TCG. Uh, everything that I'm going to talk about is TCG related. Um, and it is all about uh, the new packs coming out. Um, so we're going to start off with, I got two packs to talk about and two structure decks that I'm going to talk about. Uh, so this one is the Dark Illusion. It is the counterpart to uh, Burning, or Burning, Shining Victories, which was an amazing set. And here, and this one, Dark, the Dark Illusions, features mostly Dark Magician stuff, Spellcast related stuff. Uh, it the English release date is August fifth. Uh, Japan already has the Dark Illusion, but the English release date is August fifth of this year, and it contains nine cards per pack like normal, twenty four packs per box just like normal. Uh, the set is a hundred cards with eight secrets, ten ultras, fourteen supers, twenty rares, and forty eight commons. Uh, that's actually not bad of a set. Uh, it's pretty basic size. Uh, but yeah, don't worry. Again, the links will all be in the description to all these packs. Uh, the Dark Illusion pack, it's not on uh, Konami's website as an official, or not as an official, as in uh, uh, with the release date and explanation on the pack and everything. But it is a, uh, I will be posting the link to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, which basically explains the same thing that the uh, other that the Konami set or the Konami website would would uh, explain this suit and or this suit this set uh, includes uh, support for Archfiends, Black Wings, Buster Blader, DDs, Dark Magician, D Destruction Sword, Dino Mist, which is awesome. It's more than likely the last of the things that we need, which is one trap card and one uh, one more monsters Ankylos, uh, which is amazing. We'll just make the cards just do amazing damage. Uh, Draco Overlord, which is Probably the last card we need are that is uh, Rector, Rector, yeah, Rector. It's like it's like Vector only with an effect. Uh, Draco Slayer, Fright Furs, which is the last two cards that we are expecting. Lunar Light, which is probably the Crimson Fox. Uh, Magician, which is you know pretty obvious. Uh, Ninja, which is actually fairly random for me. Odd Eyes and Performa Pal, which is awesome. I'm glad Odd Eyes and Performa Pal are getting. Uh, the the support they need because the the new support that Odd Eyes and Performer Power are getting is the Odd Eyes meta or the Odd Eyes uh, core, which is everything you need if you just want to build just Odd Eyes, not Performer Power Odd Eyes, not Magician Odd Eyes, nothing like that, just an Odd Eyes deck. Um, we got Arch Ar Ar Red Dragon Archfiend Resonator Shurinru, uh, Sphinx, and Tune. Uh, and it also introduces two new archetypes, which is Metal Foe and Terramid. Terramid? Uh, and the TCG... Oh, yeah, the TCG is getting an exclusive archetype. Uh, it's getting Spiral. The next set or pack that is coming out, which is something that I'm very excited for, which is on the Yu-Gi-Oh! website, the Konami website. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack. Now, this movie pack includes 57 new cards... Uh, including the new Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Berry Magician, Apple Magician, and Kiwi Magician Girl. And also introducing the enemy who runs Cubic Beasts. Um, Cubics, I, if you want to see an interesting duel about, about Cubics, watch my tag duel. Shows off kind of how Cubics run. It's a tag duel, so it's, it's really awkward. Um, but this set comes out uh, it's, uh, July 22nd. It just says 722 which I had to think. Uh, it comes out July 22nd, uh, which is... I'm actually really excited. There is no for sure if Alternative Dragon is going to be in it. There's rumors going around that it will be. Um, but it's more than likely... If it's not in this set, then it's going to be in the Roaring Dragon set that's coming out. I don't know. There's no really true information about when the, Roaring, the new Roaring Dragons are coming out. Um, but that is 
that is the next dragon set that's coming out which if alternative dragon is not in the movie pack more than likely it will be in the warring dragon set uh so yeah i'm really excited for the movie pack i'm if anything, I'm very excited for the movie pack because I want Blue Eyes to be a really good deck. And that's something I'm going to talk about at the end of the video. Uh, my take on Blue Eyes because everyone else is talking about Blue Eyes. So I'm going to do uh, a... I'm going to talk about Blue Eyes uh, at the end of the episode or the video. Now I'm going to talk about the two structure decks coming out. One's a starter deck, one's a structure deck technically. Um, we have the starter deck Yuya. Uh, it is, an, again, another Yuya starter deck. It contains 40, tar 40 cards plus 3 token cards. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up picking up this deck just because Performer Pals. Um, so perform it, this deck is all about Performer Pal, Slight Hand Magician. It also includes um, the popular cards, Lightning Vortex, Book of Moon, and Pendulum Reborn. Yeah, those cards aren't really that popular. Only thing that people really use Pendulum Reborn in right now is a, a Morph Ages, just because they need the, the support. Uh, this deck is basically just to include more Performer Pal support, and I think it's for also Odd Eye support as well. Uh, yeah, it's really about it on the deck. It complains, or complains, it contains 35 commons, uh, 3 super rares, 2 ultra rares, and 3 tokens, like I said. Uh, the last structure deck, or the last, um, uh, set thing that I'm ta talking about is the Rise of the True Dragon structure deck. Now, this comes out July, uh, July 8th. Uh, and it is legal playable July 8th, obviously. Um, this is the Fel Grand Structure Deck. It is a 40-card deck, uh, and it's with all the new Fel Grand support. Plus, it comes with uh, something that I'm really, really excited for, Gospel of the Dragons, or Gospel of the Revival, uh, because that is going to help Dragon decks in general, but most like more, it's going to help Blue Eyes decks, if anything. Um, it... Yeah, it says right there, <laughs> a new spell card that uh, that special summons any level seven or level eight directly from the graveyard with no restrictions. So it's and protects the dragon from being destroyed. No drawbacks, no limitations. Mu a must-have card for every dragon deck. So if you're gonna play a dragon deck, not necessarily the Velgrand deck, I definitely suggest picking up this card when it comes out, which is Gospel of the Revival. They're not saying the name, so maybe they're changing the name. Who knows? But it is uh, something that I'm very excited for just because Felgrand was an interesting card, when, especially when it got an overlay card, and now it's going to have a brand new Felgrand and a lot of other stuff to make Felgrand an archetype, which is going to be awesome. I'm really hoping uh, it includes uh, the Felgrand overlay. I can't remember his name, uh, but uh, it includes... Uh, it is... May's uh, relaunch of the Legendary Blue Eyes theme, Shining Victories, just brings a little more oomph to the Duelist with Dragon decks. Uh, with the rise of the True Dragon Structure deck. Uh, so yes, I'm really excited. It contains 36 commons, 2 ultra rares, 3 supers, and 1 token card. Uh, the set configuration may change. This one is uh, set to change, so there's no guarantee. Um... What's what? What supers? What's ultras? What's commons? Um, but the starter deck, the U.S. starter deck, is confirmed. That is confirmed. What's happening? But this rise of the Felgrand or rise of the true dragon structure deck. Uh, there's no uh, set in stone. What's going on with the structure deck or like supers and ultras and all that? So yes, it is a 40 card deck um, that contains uh, a token card, which more likely is a super or a common or an ultra i don't know i'm pr i'm really i'm hoping it's not a, an ultra because that'll be a waste of an ultra honestly uh but yeah that's really about it on that now i have a take on blue eyes i've been seeing people talk about blue eyes and uh how they feel about how the way the deck plays i've been playing the deck um for a while i've been testing it out on on ygo pro uh and then there was the release of shining victories and i was like okay cool Shining Victories just released everything for Blue Eyes. And then I did a little more research into it because I didn't look up a set, uh, a card set list for Blue Eyes stuff that was coming out. And come to find out, Alternative Dragon is not out, which is uh, literally the most saddening thing because 
With Alternative Dragon and Blue Eyes in the deck, it makes Melody of an Awakening Dragon an always live card because that gives you at a minimum of six targets unless you run Malefic Dragon. Some people teched it in there just to make the card, just to make Melody of an Awakening Dragon still live and not a waste of a card. Plus, it's an interesting card to actually play in the deck. Uh, and also, it is White Spirit Dragon's counterpart, which means because White Spirit Dragon banishes spells and traps, uh, Alternative Dragon pops monsters. Granted, you can't attack with Alternative Dragon, but that's nor here or there. Um, it is a an amazing pop, plus it's another way to get Blue Eyes out on the field, because that's really what all the deck is all about, getting your big 3k beat stick on the field and going for Blue Eyes Ultimate or uh, Twin Burst, and now Blue Eyes, uh, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate which is going to make the deck just drop game damn near every fucking time. Uh, if it survives and the first attack goes through, you're dropping for game. Um, so that's just my take on the alternative aspect of it. Um, because like I said, we the movie pack is coming out. Uh, there is no confirmation. It did say in... Uh, I can't remember what... I think it's Coral Coral. I think that's where they put... Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as well as Pokemon stuff, um, but I, in the in Japan there is a picture from a magazine that straight up just has Alternative Dragon right there, and it's something mentioning something about the movie. Uh, so I'm hoping Alternative Dragon comes in the new movie pack. There's again, there's no confirmation when it is coming out, uh, even if it's coming out in TCG. Uh, so if it doesn't, then Blue Eyes has no chance of becoming Tier 1. Just for the fact of you drop, you search Melody, or you use Melody to search Alternative and Blue Eyes, reveal your Blue Eyes, special your Alternative, pop a monster, trade in, ditch the Blue Eyes, Gospel of the Revival, which is guaranteed to come out in the new Structure Deck, which is the new Felgrand Structure Deck. So that's basically how the deck ran. That's like the biggest combo of the play. Plus also you can go into your synchros a lot faster, which is again very important to the deck. Um, so without alternative, the deck is just very slow. And that's just my take on the uh, on it. Without an alternative dragon, Blue Eyes is literally a expensive for fun deck. Um, pretty sure once the hype goes down, the cards will drop. Uh, if... Alternative Dragon is not announced to be released anytime soon. The price of cards more than likely will drop, uh, but for now, that's an expensive deck to build that's barely any good. It wins duels, don't get me wrong, in its current TCG format, um, but without the Alternative Dragon, it's not going to top. Uh, if it tops, it's a miracle. Like the Whoever played it got very lucky uh, on who they faced, and hoping and your opponent must have bricked a lot. Um, so just without the alternative dragon, like I said, the deck is very slow. It doesn't go off as much, and just to win duels, you have to use up a lot and hope your opponent bricks very fast. Uh, that's just my take on it. Uh, I want to know your guys' take. That's my question I'm posing in this episode of Just Let Me Complain. What do you guys think of the Blue Eyes current, or current TCG Blue Eyes um, builds? Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Just Let Me Complain News. All the links to all articles and the social media are is in the description below. Thank you, and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day thing, or whatever. And don't forget, guys, just let me complain.